So now I'm gonna try um, the phone I got from Dollarama. This is the designer phone pack. Uh, I paid two dollars for it. And this is uh, green color. I don't see properly in the in orange glasses, laser protecting glasses. So using the same speed as for cardboard. Let's go. Looks like we have. All right, I didn't put it place it properly. I'm sorry. As you see, it perfectly cuts. The perfectly cuts this phone. Come on, come on. Okay, I'll do one more time. Just have a little nice, beautiful star. So after my first failed attempt of proper positioning, I'm gonna give it a try one more time. No issues uh, whatsoever. Cuts. I'm pretty sure it can go, it can go um, even faster. It can go substantially faster. I'm gonna try um, 420. Next one. Beautiful. So here we are running 420 millimeter per minute and it perfectly cuts the foam. Amazing, love it. Alright. I I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna actually ramp it up all the way to 600. 600. See? Print. Not the problem. So I think it can be as good as cutting the regular paper, which I was running at 780. And because this may be even better, because it, the foam has uh, probably better um, absorption property than regular paper, let's give it a try at 780. Print. Oh my god. Amazing. I think we have a six. Ah, uh, okay, borderline, borderline. So they pushing it. Seven hundred eighty is pushing it, but still does pretty good job. Look at that. Let's try a different color. I have yellow. Yellow piece of foam. Print. Not the problem. I think. No, no, this is a bit of a problem. So yeah, so 700 is pushing it. So it definitely depends on the, on the color absorption. So for this guy, 600. I would say will be a pretty good number. That works very well. Beautiful. Well, this time is something much more heavy duty. This is 5mm thick foam uh, from Michaels. Um, I'll give it a try and I reduced uh, uh, the feed rate to 100... Uh, oh, sorry, I kind of forgot. 220. 120. So I'll give it a try 120 first. This is completely white, so may have worse absorption, bigger reflection. And we have a fail. It doesn't cut through completely through the plastic, through the foam. It melts it a lot, but doesn't cut it. Yes, 
Let me analyze this. Yes, it is penetrated for about a half, uh, half through the foam. So this might be an issue with the laser beam being too thick at this um, that depth, at that height. Sorry. Um, I'll give it a try so, uh, slower speed, but it may um, actually doesn't look good. May not look good because um, it will melt foam too much. So I would need to. So uh, I'll try a. Yes, definitely. No, no, it's still not going through. Wow, wow, it's not cool. Not cool. So yeah, I have to probably um, improve the focusing, uh, maybe make better, more condensed beam, and maybe um, raise the laser a bit, a bit higher. Let's see, what do we have? Almost, almost there, but not, not there yet. So it's kind of, as you see, it's kind of kind of melted through. I'm not sure if it's properly visible. No, sorry, this is so white. Yeah, not good. Not good. Okay, this is fail. Next, black foam. I believe black foam would have better results because it have much better absorption. So we're gonna make it 120 again. Safe. Great. Yeah, and I think it's totally killing it. Um, sorry, my problem. <laughs> Improperly positioned the thing. Always forget that that particular that little star is not. Yes, but this star on the black in the black foam. Okay, let's repeat the case. But as you see, it cut through the thing perfectly. Let's try it one more time to have nice and beautiful, complete star print again. And I see underneath in the glass that laser beam cuts through, so definitely not an issue. Alright. Ta-da! You can see how it dropped, so definitely we have success here. Here is the little foam, little foam star. Looks actually pretty cool, very clean cut, very clean cut. So let's try one more, but it's 200. Even if I'm not going to post those, these videos, I would have video log of um, material versus speed. Okay, this, uh, yeah, perfectly. Again, through 200 works. So maybe next time I'll uh, run more tests to actually find the most optimal uh, uh, speed. Obviously, faster it cuts, cleaner the cut is. 
beautiful. So I did maybe a little bit, yeah, a li little bit kind of stuck, but still, probably corners. Uh, nice and beautiful star. So 200 is probably borderline top for this thing. Here we have it. Okay, so black one is success. Thumbs up.